Hello, uh, we are just about to learn how to make a spiral staircase. So if you're new to Modo, uh, you can go System Reset Preferences to reset everything. That would give you a fresh Modo. And usually when we start Modo, I go to Model, I click here, I turn this on, and I go here, and I put Trackball to No. That's my own preferences. Alt to Orbit, Alt Shift to Pan, Scroll to Zoom. Uh, to bring an object, you go right click Primitive Cube. Uh, we'll be scaling the object of 300 on X, 10 on Y, so it looks more like a board. And we could rename this uh, board or stair. Maybe stair. The empty layer, you can get rid of it and uh, now we have this if i'm far away i can press a or if you select you can go shift a to uh, bring it to the screen now we need to get rid of this because um, if we do a bevel of other thing that will um, stretch it so go free scale um, to go in sub component we go vertices right click make sure the lasso is set to rectangle and then we can middle click and drag to grab the point. Middle click um, gets the point through the front and the back. W to move. You can actually leave your finger on W so it's sticky. And uh, shape the staircase. So like this. Uh, yeah, something like that. And shape it here too. So if you leave your hand on, um, on W, uh, let me do it again. You can shape, let W go, middle click, and go back to W. And you want the green. If you forgot the hotkey, pan is here, rotate, um, zoom, and uh, rotate, scale, and uh, move are here. W, E, R. So I go W here. Okay, uh, instead of scaling, so shift A, uh, deselect, turn that on. To go here, it's one, two, three, and to get out of it, it's five. Shift A. And uh, you could also scale by going R and go like this, or just here, but it's the same as doing it here. To make it more natural, what you can do, it's uh, go in point and select those two and you can go 103 103 must have changed oh i mean french sorry must have pressed a key so 103 enter and here Sorry, my keyboard change, and here we'll do the opposite. Middle click, and I'll go scale R, maybe 98. Just so it looks like if it's made of wood, it's been, uh, you know, dried differently. Uh, we can go W, move that up a little bit, move this down. We can even move both up or down. This is tiny detail, but will really help making your staircase more believable. If we go in edges, we can go B, click and drag anywhere, and that will create a bevel. We could do a chamfer, like this, if we leave this at zero, or put two to create a fillet. I think I like the chamfer, zero. And then Q to apply. So now the little issue that we have here is that uh, we need to move this to the side because the center of the object is here if we want it back at the center we go edit center bonding box center you see but here actually i want it here so i can go freeze position so now it's here so now everything rotate from here so i can just go um, duplicate uh, clone we could do maybe eight and I'm going to click here to uh, put the duplicate on and then go rotation of maybe 20 degrees.
like this. And now we get the spiral staircase. You can uh, grab a um, cylinder, R. You can use the green circle to only scale in two axes if you want. Um, and you could also do it here. You could say 20 and 20. Uh, and then move a scale it higher, maybe 400. That's a bit too much. Uh, three. Three scale. Move this up. Uh, so maybe it was good. 150. And then we can get a plane, right click primitive plane. Scale it. And. Uh, now we can do a render. So to do a preview render, it's F8. Voila, and that will be it.